It's just finally, I think I'm finally at a place where I'm happy and I'm contented and I think I deserve to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, usually when I, when I just started, I always felt like I never belonged, like I still had to work hard. Mm -hmm. And then I finally got to a place where I accepted who I was and just, you know, realized that I have a gift and a talent and I want to enjoy it. I want to mm -hmm. enjoy the moment, I want to have fun and it shouldn't be as a result of if I'm doing well or not, you know, it's right. just coming out here and representing and it's a blessing to be able to compete up to this stage of my career. It's a blessing to have a child and to come back. Yes. It's a blessing to be 35 and, you know, still winning medals. So, yes. you know, why not have some fun with that? So is there anything in your body that tells you like, oh, I can keep going? Like, is there any, is there any triggers? Oh, uh, I would definitely would just say uh, my body's feeling good. Like I've always said to my friends, apart from I have a toe injury that I've been having from 2016. <laughs> <laughs> apart from that, I wake up in the morning and I feel good. And I read a study online just like a couple of days ago, and they said if you hear a crick in your knees, it's just bubbles. <laughs> How do you overcome that toe, that toe injury and keep on fighting to the end? Yeah, you know, it is part of the journey. There's nothing I can do about it right now. It's still there, it still lingers. I still have days where I have to take a couple of days off and um, to come back to practice. But you know what? I just put it behind me. If I can't fix it right now and I can't do anything about me, I do the best I can with what I have. So I miss a day, I miss two days, and I come back and I work again. So on the days that I'm good, I make sure that I'm giving 100% because I know that there are days when I won't be good and I have to rest. So I make use of the opportunities that I get when my toe is good. Are you going to try and go for the record for the most medals? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I, I actually don't sit and think about like, going for records and medals. I just want to be in the best shape that I can be. And I always want to challenge myself. I definitely believe before the season is finished, I'm going to run 10-5 and you know I'm excited about that and I think those are the things that keeps me going to know that I am knocking at a door that I know can be open and I'm excited about the possibility of doing that this season and you know I'm glad I got the championship out of the way because you know running fast at championship is it's hard to do because mentally you're on you're focusing on so many different things but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to running fast. Uh, uh, three times you and I have spoken and you've always mentioned Zion in our conversations. Yeah. In Kenya and here you've spoken twice. Just how, just how important is the role of your son in your life? It's important, you know. Um, it's something that I can't escape. He's here and he's my responsibility. And as much as I'm an athlete that's competitive, I still have a responsibility making sure that I'm growing my son in the right way and I'm, and I'm there for him. And this morning, I remember waking up, he got up and he's like, oh, it's morning, mommy. <laughs> and I still had to get up and make him some tea, <laughs> even though I was running this evening because, you know, it is what, it's my new normal, you know, it's the, the way I have to balance my life. And I enjoy the moment because it definitely takes my mind away from competition for a bit and just get me to just focus and to enjoy the moment with my son. And then when it's competition time, then it's competition time. You had a great moment with Dina the other day. Yeah. Um, and Cousin obviously, Dina. <laughs> well, so there are athletes that you compete with and against with Jamaican roots from all around yeah. the world. What does it feel like to be on the track with them, even though they're not, you know, competing for Jamaica, they're yeah, still representing? It, it definitely feels good because, you know, a lot of Jamaicans are all over the world. And to be able to see them competing for other countries, it's just wonderful and we're able to still have a conversation and they understand our roots because they're parents of course so they understand and they understand how we speak and we, we're able to have a conversation we have, have some fun time and i'm really excited about that because you know i consider us one if they weren't if she wasn't representing great britain i'm sure she'll be representing jamaica so it feels good to know that all over the world there is some heritage there in terms of jamaican legacy how do you feel about the silver medal today? Um, I must say that we wanted to have that gold medal and we were definitely aiming for trying to get that world record because we believe we have the team capable of doing that. But again, you know, it, we got a silver medal. It could have been worse, you know, our stick could have been on the ground and we wouldn't have gotten anything at all. So we live and we learn and we are grateful for the silver medal and we use it just as a stepping stone to the next one. Do you think, oh, sorry, go I was hoping that we all were going to the Commonwealth Games and we'd have one more chance at it, but we're all not, most of us stuck going. So we 
fight another day. Hopefully. Just a couple of days ago, you mentioned that you hardly practice for four by hundred meters. Uh, is this one of the things that has affected maybe? I definitely think it's one of the things that affects us as a country in terms of our relay practice because we don't have relay camps. We don't do relay camps. I'm hoping one day our federation will decide to do it and we'll try and make it happen, but we don't. And it was very difficult to do here since all three ladies were doing the double as well. So it was difficult. So we relied on our experience and the fact that we ran the team from, from the second to the anchor, the exact way we ran it last year. Different hairstyle today? Every day, every day. <laughs> Thanks so much, Charlotte.